hell with you, Stephanie. I am in this mall that's next to Taipei 101 in obviously Taipei, Taiwan. And it's got this interesting floor of like, I don't know, fairy tale-ish kind of Alice in Wonderland stuff. So I thought this would be a good, interesting place to do a very quick burning questions video. Like if you were to look at things like this, what is happening here? <laughs> So watch for that in the background during the video. Super quick question, because I've, I've been here about 24 hours now, and I have done, uh, done. I have seen some uh, traditional characters in the wild, and I do want to do a video with it very, very shortly. Very, very shortly. But right now, I mostly just want to ask the question, uh, because I am noticing some that are the same, and some that are different, like men, and I forget the tone, I think is that fourth tone? Men, 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 men. Okay, that's more of a question to myself than to you, don't worry. Um, talking to myself, lying in the street. I don't know why I'm singing that when an Alice in Wonderland stuff is all around me. Like this right here. Right? Okay. So, how different is it? If you are someone who knows both, um, how different is it? Did you have a, time, a hard time switching from one to another? More importantly, is it that the radicals are different, the radicals that build up to the characters are different, or is, um, so that when, if you know the radicals in traditional, then you can do the, all the characters that they build up to. Does that make sense? Or is it that the radicals in traditional and simplified are the same, but how they're combined together is different? Does that make sense? Like if I were to learn, which I'm still working on, uh, bit by bit, if I were to learn all 214 radicals and simplified, would that be the same in traditional? Or would I need to learn the 214 radicals, assuming they were the same, in uh, traditional as well? And knowing that there are some that are the same, like uh, Ren, Ren, I'm still working on the R, is clearly, look at this wall, this is a trip. Anyway, is, is the same, I'm seeing that, is the same, but men, gate, is di very, very, very different. Um, what were some other ones? There were a lot that we saw around yesterday and I can't think of it right now, holy crap. Look at this. <laughs> we're totally gonna walk around this. It's got teacups and everything. Anyway, um, yeah, so I did see a fair bit that were the same yesterday, and I saw some that had a million more strokes. Teacup, anyone? A million more strokes that I'm used to seeing. So it's kind of a mix, but it's not as different as I was anticipating, which is super exciting. However, I still have about maybe 200 radicals, or 200 words, or phrases, or things that I recognize. So it's not like my vocabulary is really, really expansive. So I'm not really the best judge of character, on these characters, these Chinese characters, or radicals, the Hansa. So I'm asking you guys, what's your experience with switching between the simplified and um, and traditional characters? This little area here is tripping me out. It looks like it is a cafe. There's cupcakes right back here, and they probably serve tea too, I imagine. This is just in a mall. It's just I think the fourth floor of the mall that you can take the um, the. Uh, there's a connection thingy that goes from the Taipei 101 mall over to here. And uh, we just came in looking for some cell phone covers because our cell phone covers are not great. Anyway, point being, this is a really awesome find. You even have the signs in, as you can see, themed like this. Like if we were to look at these, like this looks like shell, like hand, 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 right? But these are all, they're very obviously, obviously, those are stylized as well as being traditional characters, but they definitely have more strokes in them than I'm used to. So it'd be interesting to hear your experience. Um, oh, I want to end the video over here. Anyway, I want, it'd be interesting to see, to hear your experience um, with the two different characters. And I understand that this is a video about <laughs> Chinese characters, and I've got this very non-Chinese fairy tale-esque stuff behind me, but that's what's here, and this is a place that uses the, the characters, albeit a slightly different version, or a very different version, depending on your frustration level and experience with them. And right now, I just think it's fascinating. So, um, yeah, leave your comments down below, 
and I will be uh, doing whatever videos I do from Taipei this week. So look out for more, uh, more stuff like this. Bye. Oh, yeah, I know that one. That's again.